Friday night baseball from the Bay Area and the Oakland Coliseum. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Baltimore Orioles and the Oakland A's. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Tyler Anderson will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? A guy with a big future and a former first-round draft pick. Mid-90s fastball, good assortment of off-speed pitches. What he's lacking right now is just getting some experience, and he should get that. And when he does, look out. When he puts it together, this guy has a huge future ahead of him. So coming Leading to the plate, the Cesar Baltimore. Morales. And we are set for baseball Caesar. here this evening. Morales. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Second of four here on a Friday night as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come in two and one on the young season and off to a good start. Yeah, We're Maddie, good. this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. Hit on the ground to third. Chapman's got it. And there's one gone to begin the evening. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Maddie, this lineup's got to be willing to adjust. They cannot stay staunch and try and pull everything, or there will be a ton of ground ball and weak fly ball contact. They have to be willing to use line to line to get this done today. Digging in, Juan Castillo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Well, the Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. One out, nobody on. Called strike 0 and 2. Castillo swings the bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here's another 0 2. Ball, Ball one. one as he lays off below the zone and set up behind the plate Rusty Valentine as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey you know Dero Rusty Valentine he's known for having a high and a low strike zone but he's pretty good east and west you better keep it on the corners. Yeah I'm okay with Rusty's zone without question you know he's going to elevate it's north south so you're aware of it as a veteran player you can live with that. Hey I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2 2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Davis. He gets there, and that's the second out. That is third. Settling in now, Anthony, Anthony. Mercaldi, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. At the knees, strike one. Just underway here in Oakland. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. Pitch is popped up. Olsen will put this one away, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game.
Carlos Gonzalez, an Ohio-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half the of the first. The designated hitter, Tommy First Stella. offering on its way. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Yeah, Maddie, they need to grab this one today. You don't want to drop the first two games of the season. I don't care if it's on the road. I know you're going to have to battle, play well at home. You can't afford to get on the team bus back to the hotel 0-2. Yokoyama is right there, one down. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. What's the key for them tonight, Hero? Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing. Their best tool is the fact that they have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. Coming to the plate now, Marcus Simeon. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Yeah. Right on the corner, two and two. There's a called strike on a changeup, not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Swing and a liner. Foul. Three and two now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Stepping into the box, Stephen Piscotti. First pitch of the at bat. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Simeon leads off first with one away. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 oh on the way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. And we'll snap one off over to the bag. And the runner will get back standing. The 2-1 home. Fouled away. The 2-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. A tag for one. Leon to Davis for a side retiring double play. We'll move to the second inning here in Oakland with no score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chris Davis. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Great. 
Gaither. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses ball one. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. A one one. Is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. The two one home. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this that one. And let's take a look at outfielder Steven Piscotti. Stanford grad, so you know he's got the smarts and the baseball acumen to get it done out there. Big middle of the order bat, big time arm from right field as well. And here's Renato Nunez, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First offering on its way. Just off the outside, and it's 1 and 0. Now, a fastball for a called strike. It's 1 and 1. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit a two and one count to Nunez It's fouled away. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Batting fit. The right field. Now batting, DJ Stewart. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Striding in for Oakland, Chris Davis. 
He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Now the 1 0 is taken ball for ball two. two. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. and two to the A's center fielder. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. The three two one more time. And another foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. It's that all a good. part of learning how to the pitch in the big leagues. Thing. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging oh, at there. pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Now in the box, Matt Olson. Here comes the first pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Popped him up. Davis is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And let's spot shout out first baseman Chris Crush Davis. Doesn't get enough love for how soft this guy's hands are. Constantly picking middle infielders left and right. We get it. He's got power. But look for him to make a nice play on defense as well. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Davis, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Oh. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Oh, one strike. Sent out to straightaway center field. Yokoyama has a beat on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's Jerickson Profar. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. The A's strand one will move to the third with no score. Striding in, Thomas Yokoyama. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count.
First pitch coming. Here it is. And this one runs up high. Ball one. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. That was a non-competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2-0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone, get himself back in this count. Hit to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting it. The Stepping up to the plate, Pablo Reyes. 16. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A and a ball, 1 and 0. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Quick. 2 and 0 to the Baltimore left fielder. Three and oh now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. And that's finally over for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a swing and a fly ball. Heading after it is Piscotti, and no one will track it down. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Now with the plate, Austin wins. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Hit down the line at first. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha-Cha. Pitch is high. The throw. Offline throw. But they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. Two out, nobody on. This is hit high and deep out to left. Pinder going back on it. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Boy, d -roll, that looked like extra bases right now off that, the bat. This thing carries off the wall. Caesar. Outfielder does a great job well, of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding it to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. In now, Cesar Morales. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. the 1-0 and a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul wins is off of first with two away two balls and a strike to the Orioles leadoff hitter
Now the 2 1 pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Profar ranging into the outfield. He's not going to get it. And the two out rally continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now. And there's second probably baseman. no happier Four. person in the yes, ballpark. Theo. Cesar Morales has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Stepping in now, Juan Castillo, as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. One and oh, here it is. One and one. We got a ball, one strike. Two down, runners at first and second. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run will score easily as the Orioles are off to a 1-0 lead. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles Anthony. and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. Standing in now, Anthony Mercaldi. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. Runners at the corners, two men out. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the Eight. same location over and over and over. 3-1 and one the count now. This is line to left. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. The first baseman, number 19. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. So two on with two away. And up next, the left-handed power bat of Chris Davis. From the belt, the pitch. Ball one taken just off the inside. He's been great on the mound up until this inning. And yeah, he and his guys are behind 2-0 now. But if he can seal the leak and hold these guys right here the rest of the way, this is still going to be a start he can be proud of. The 1-0 delivery. 
Zero. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. To one and two now. Two men are on with two men out. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Orioles lead it two to nothing. Plate, Travis Darno. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First delivery to him on the way. In the air, down the line in left. Reyes is in pursuit, and they can't run it down. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. The 0-2 once more. Grounded to short. McCauley is there. And a good throw gets him one gun. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Here comes the first pitch. They'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. and Hayes still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game. Now it's 2-0. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. 2-2. Two, two. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there's the first hit of the game for the A's. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. Now he stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart here, and I don't know if maybe there's something wrong with him physically, but it seems a very quick hook as he's gone after not allowing a single run. Your Reggie Prado is going to come on now to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll 11. be asked to eat some innings. Reggie Prado. Into the box now, Tommy LaStella, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Comes set, now the pitch. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy no, the before, 10. but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked Jimmy up by yeah. hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. 
So two men are on with one man out. And up next to Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Chapman on second. Lastella at first, one gone. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind it account, 2 and 0. Oh. oh, I bet he'd like to have that swing back. It's 2 and 1 now. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. First and second now. One man out. Soft liner to the left side. The second for one. On to Davis, but too late, and they'll settle for just the one. Digging in to try it again. Steven Piscotti. Piscotti. First delivery to him on the way. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. The 0-1 pitch. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Reyes looking up. And that one is gone. So a three-run shot to left center, second home run early in the year as the A's move out to a 3-2 lead. this one down as a lesson for the young pitcher. Hitters at this level will just continue to spoil pitches they don't like until they get that pitch they do like. Guess what? He really liked that one. The center fielder, number two. Here's Chris Davis now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Three runs already home here. One, two, and right into the shift. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Stewart ranging back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. But the A's put up a three spot here thanks to the three run home run. We're through three here in the East Bay. It's three to two Oakland. 
back at the Oakland Coliseum. And before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready for another chance? Renato Nunez, as we begin the top of the fourth. Nunez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there. 1 0. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now that oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat. Into the box, DJ Stewart. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Yeah. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. One out, nobody on. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Changeup misses and it's full three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Striding in once again, Thomas Yokoyama. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. One and oh, the count.
left side. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Now batting. Number 16. Now at the plate, Pablo Reyes, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's taken for strike one. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. First home run of the campaign for him, and it's now 5-3. to three. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know that thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Up next for the Orioles. Stepping in now, the Austin wins. Austin wins. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. One for one after a single his first time up. The wind up and the 0 1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Five runs, six hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Another 0 and 2 coming. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Now that designated hitter. For the plate now is the designated oh, hitter, Morales. Cesar Morales. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. Hey. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. One of the keys when you're looking at a subpar pitching performance is first pitch strikes. And so far, this guy struggled. First pitch strikes, less than 40%. He's going to need to clean that up. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Boy, this has been a tough one for him so far, d -Row. Seventh up hit of the, the game Orioles. already. The They're really baseman. making him work. Whoa. Yeah, 100%. Dan, Castillo. as Dustin Pedroia says, it's a laser show out there. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. Back in standing. And now they've got him picked off. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. But the Orioles push across three on the strength of a three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 5-3 Baltimore. Ladies Sean Gilmartin answers the call please. from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Sean Gilmartin. Digging in for his second at bat. Matt Olson go for one after a pop out in foul territory his first time Matt. through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder. And thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. 
side. 3-0 now. Well, ball three, and listen, the Oakland A's right now would love to get this leadoff guy on any way they could. They would love a leadoff walk. Let's see what they throw Olsen on a three and one count. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The three and one pitch. And Olsen with a drive out to deep right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms yeah. very well. Was able to get it over the right Enter. fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. In now, Chad Pinder. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. Gil Martin playing here in his age 29 season. He was a first round pick during the 2014 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Pinder is usually more of a threat when facing left-handers like this. The right-handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. In the dirt, the throw will go to third, and it's too late as he's in there. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Moving under it, Yokoyama. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And Jerickson Profar will be the next to bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Ball two now. Great situation to be up at the plate right now, but if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Now the 2-0 home. 3 and 0 now. Amazing he was able to lay off in this situation. Your eyes light up when you get something above the belt, especially with a man on third base. Here it is, the 3 0. He is looked at for the first strike. The 3 1. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So a man at third here with two gone. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Falling for it, Yokoyama. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Oakland. They're still down 5-3. Joaquin Soria will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Joaquin Soria. So digging in now, Juan Castillo. Leading off for Baltimore, the second baseman, Juan Castillo. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that misses low and away, ball one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Pinder, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Now back. And there are the final the numbers for the Oakland starter. Anthony. Certainly not the Fort night Aldi. he wanted to have. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. So striding in, Anthony McCaldy, a hit in two tries so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Line, that's a base hit. Whoa, that ball was close. Twist right by his head. I think the he probably heard it go 19. by, guys. That's pretty Red. unsettling for a pitcher. Dinger. Trust me, I know. Here's Chris Davis now as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Five runs eight hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. Hard hit ball to second fielded cleanly. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Your Andy Barrero will come on now in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the Number season one. so far. Andy Barrero. Now at the plate, Matt Chapman. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Things not the looking very basement. good so far in this Matt. one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The windup and the 0-1. Fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Now the A's designated hitter, Tommy Lestella. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game.
you know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep. But it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. Into the box now, Marcus Semyon. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. On to Davis at first and there are two away. Oh that'll make you smile as a pitcher. Now you make a good pitch. You, you blow the guy's he bat bad. up and then you make the play he yourself. In your head you're thinking nice swing me. So bases are empty here with two gone and up next the outfielder Steven Piscotti. There's a change up taken but it finds the zone on the inside. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, now wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him. And hey, that's part of the game. Digging in, Chris Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AP. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AP. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Piscotti, the runner at first with two gone. And that misses two and one. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Popped him up. Davis over to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. But the A's inch a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. Through five innings, it's the Orioles five and the Athletics four. Stepping into the box, Renato Nunez. No hits to this point. The third baseman, Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at bat. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Go back to 0 1 count and the pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Another try at 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Number 27. Digging in now, DJ Stewart.
from the stretch. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. You can tell his eyes lit up at the plate right there. He was not able to control his emotions, stay up the middle, and keep that one fair. The one-two locks him up for strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job the there of fielder. exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys Yoko to overcome Kama. when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Thomas Yokoyama as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They lead it five to four. Richard Blyer will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 48, Richard Blyer. The power hitter, Matt Olson. He doubled earlier in the game, the one for two to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Ready for another shot no now. Fielder. Chad Pinder. Third yeah. trip to the plate for him here tonight. Pinder. Over two at this point. First offering on its way. Aye. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Blyer, a native Floridian. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2008 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, yeah, that's man. the advantage of getting ahead in the count. Piece, you can really force hitters Correct, to expand their zone and protect. Whoa, and ball. when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Standing in now, Jurickson Profar. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. The one-two. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the A's. And the deficit holds at five to four. Back here at the Coliseum in Oakland. Orioles leading this one through six as we take a look at our game summary to this point. Your 
David Phelps will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. David. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Pablo Reyes. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1-0. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. The one one is taken for strike two. in with the fastball but it's too far in and it's even at two and two when you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you good job to lay off that one but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again lofted in the air out toward right center the Scotty's there for it makes the play one away Striding Good. into the box, Austin wins. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. Ah. Left it up in the zone, but it's one a strike, one. one and one. One out, nobody on. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. The batter, number nine. Designated hitter. Digging Caesar. in and looking for more. Oh, right Caesar right. Morales. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Chased a bad one there. One and one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing him a fourth. Go open. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Now that. Yeah, That's nobody on right there, Dan. Whoa. Two outs. It's not every That's day you see a guy out. pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I tell you what, if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle, and it doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, gla a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Stepping in now, Juan Castillo. Oh. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Throw over to first oh, and the runner back easily. Very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. 
you can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call and this manager he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. One and one here it comes pitch out nothing doing. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One left for the Orioles. They hold on to a 5 4 lead. Ethan Fenny is out from the now bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Ethan Fenny. Stepping in, Travis Darno. Leading off for two on eight. his line thus far. The this catcher. thing's far from over, Travis. even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy in. They're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count Ball one, one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Here we go. Close ball there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. Travis Darno with an even 2-2 two and two count now. Popped him up. Under it now is Davis to put it away for the first out. Now batting. Third Stepping base. in, Matt Chapman. Matt. One for two on his line so far in the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career major the league strikeout. Hitter. Well, Matt, Dummy. if he can become a consistent Ross strikeout Stella. pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. In now, Tommy LaStella. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0 is a slider taken for a ball. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Two out, nobody on. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. And 
and he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he walked him on five no pitches, but that last ten. pitch was really good. He Four missed ten. down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next to Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon. First delivery to him on the way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Little bit outside, two and one. Lastella leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Yokoyama is there, and that ends the inning. The A's strand one. Still down a run, it's five to four. Ryan Buchter has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52, Ryan Buchter. Anthony Mercaldi will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Anthony Mercaldi. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to left. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, wow, talk about having a pretty special the game. Base, That's his third 19. single of the game, D. row Three Ding for Ding. four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back standing. Into the box, Chris Davis. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Hey. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Now the 2-2. Here's a fly ball well hit. Davis going back to the track to the wall. And it's gone. A two-run shot for Chris Davis. The 301st of his career. And it's now 7-4. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. 
Now batting, third baseman, Renato Nunez. Into the box now, Renato Nunez. As he'll take a look at ball one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. One and one, here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. No outs, nobody on. Come on now. The one two is a fastball that misses. Side and a full count three and two. DJ Stewart is on deck. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's never easy to rebound after serving Not up a two-run shot, but Number that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Standing in, D.J. Stewart. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Now here's the pitch and the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. That's inside two and oh. Here's the 2-0. And, oh. and that's in there, 2-1. and one. One strike. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? Yeah, that was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these Yo days. Goes. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Stepping in now, Thomas Yokoyama, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 1 0 -oh is a ball high and inside. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Now the two one pitch is laid ball off of for ball number three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The 
three and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. But the Orioles strike for two thanks to the two-run home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Orioles seven and the Athletics four. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Steven Piscotti. He's one for two in this one. The right fielder. Steven Piscotti. First offering on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Reyes moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. The ball standing in, the Chris Davis. Field. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer needing three runs. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Around first, digging for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batting, first baseman, Matt Olsen. Runner at second, one away, and that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. Ball one no Davis, a runner at second with one away. Ball that two. missed. Close. It's ball two. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2 and 1. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. -oh. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. The 2 1 home. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. The ball. So a runner at third, two men are out, and up next the ever versatile Chad Pinder. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. That's by him for strike one. The 1-1 one, one is in there for the second strike. The 1-2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for Oakland. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Your Trevino please. enters from the pen now, to start the ninth the inning athletic. as he'll try to keep the score Double right 62. where it is heading to the bottom Move. of the ninth. Trevino. Digging in once again, Pablo Reyes comes in one for two Double with that home run he hit earlier. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike.
Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 0-2 delivery. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Piscotti is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Now batter. Ready now. Austin wins. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Davis is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter. Next will be the designated hitter, Cesar Morales. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They hold a 7 to 4 lead. Tanner Scott complete. enters the game to finish now, this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 66, Tanner Scott. Jurickson Profar will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. One ball, no strikes to count. is looked at off the plate for a ball. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. Here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Ready on 0-2. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Two, two, one more time. Swinging a ball line softly down the left field line, but foul. The 
2 2 one more time. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Yokoyama ranging back, still going back. So a two-run shot to left center, and it's now a one-run game, seven to six now. One of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Matty D, this is turning into home run derby part two. D-roll, five bombs now, already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of the mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. Matt Chapman is at the plate as he watches ball one. Ready. Here's the 1 0. 1 0 pitch is a sinker swung on and missed 1 and 1. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. McCaldy has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Tommy Lestella a hitting two out of bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. Still only one out in the inning. side but there to take this one is the second baseman and that's out number two he's down to their final out now and up next a Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon he's ready here's the first offering first pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide it's ball one And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And he'll make the catch. And the Orioles are in the win column for the first time this year as the ball game is over. Yeah, if that relief performance were a car, it would have had some wobbly wheels on it. He gave up a couple of runs, but he still gets the save getting that shaky car across the finish line after all. A tight one, 7-6 to six, the final score tonight. Baltimore took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Reggie Prado claims the win out of the pen his first. Tyler Anderson was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Tanner Scott closes the door for the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Orioles, seven runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.